What's up besties and homies, it's your girl Aisha checking in, back with another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Strong Friends Check-In Podcast. I'll start by sending my condolences to the mother and her family. This video deeply touched me. Most people will stand in a place of judgment with no empathy for the mother because people often focus on symptoms rather than the source of a problem. I focus on the source. And I filter through all the distractions to perceive and understand. The loss of a loved one, especially a child or parent, can easily trigger anyone. Grief doesn't care about decency and order. It just doesn't. She released years, probably decades of frustration and pain that she had been suppressing to get through daily life. The grievances expressed by this mother are far too common in our community. Family members who cause division and don't show up in life attend funerals expecting people to revere them because they hold a title. I also notice that people seem to think that they can overlook, disregard, undermine, and devalue the mothers in our community. Perhaps it's because so many do not value human life. Therefore, a black woman Risking her life to give birth to a baby is somehow not respected or appreciated. The mother made a great point when she said, when you don't take care of the kids, this is what happens. She's saying it takes a village to raise a child and her child's village failed him. This is all too common in our community. I see it all the time. Members of the father's side don't feel any moral responsibility to love and care for his child. I've also seen members of the mother's side ignore or neglect a child because the child is being raised by the father's side. So it seems we have a lot of narcissistic adults in our community who think it's okay to neglect a child because they dislike someone on the other side. And we wonder why our community is in shambles. It's because the community as a collective has no love. You can't have love when you've turned against God because God is love. When you decide to place your ego before the welfare of a child, you are indeed a narcissist of the lowest kind. That is why I do not attend funerals of people who only carry a title or congregate with people who only carry a title. If you did not communicate with me before the funeral, don't ask anyone for my number or look for me at the funeral. Love is an action word. When people love you, they show it with their actions. Your true family shows up in life. They don't wait until someone passes to reach out or attend the funeral for a photo op. Stop asking other communities to value black life and practice what you preach. That is my message. Know that you are worthy. Know that you are loved. Please like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, it's your girl, Aisha, signing off.